If you're going to be productive with Test Complete, you must have a way to test and run your automated tests outside of your development machine. As your tests grow, you cannot afford to waste time tying up your development machine as you run and check that your tests work. Stability and productivity are everything with automated testing, which means running and testing your tests religiously. So I'm going to walk you through a simple-ish setup where you develop on one machine and run on a separate virtual machine using VMbox or any other VM technology to run your tests using Test Execute. This method gives you a way to write your scripts, run them on the VM and see your results available on your development machine. There are other ways to do this. CI CD tools like Jenkins that can be configured with Test Complete and work extremely well. But there is an overhead in terms of getting this set up and configuring and learning Jenkins. So I'm going to show you a simpler approach using VMs and the Test Complete REST API to execute and drive your tests. Now I'm going to walk you through how we've set this up. We have details and instructions in an accompanying how-to document and if you need that, reach out to us at hello at testmanagement.com. But once everything is set up, the development and execution process you follow goes like this. You write your automated tests in Test Complete on your main laptop or desktop machine. And in this example, I've got a simple script that starts notepad, types in some text and closes notepad. Now test complete has been configured to work in shared mode so that everything is saved to a shared drive. There's more information about running test complete in shared mode in the user guides for test complete but essentially it allows us to save scripts that we've written in one instance of test complete they're saved to a shared folder and then that shared folder can be mounted and the files seen on a different machine that test execute or another instance of test complete can use and run with. Now you could in this instance just start test execute manually, load the automation scripts in, run them and view the results on the virtual machine. But what I want to do is make this development and execution process as efficient as possible. So with that shared folder and all of the automation scripts available on the VM, what I can do is install the REST API that comes with Test Complete. And you'll find this in the Test Complete or Test Execute bin folder. And there is a file to enable or a batch script to enable the REST API. And once you've run that script, this makes the REST API for test execute on this VM accessible to our main machine where we're developing the scripts. So we can see here that this is the host name for the VM that we're running, and we can use the Swagger page here to test that REST API. But to make things even more efficient so you don't have to run these API calls manually, what we've done is written a little PowerShell script and that PowerShell script enables us to follow through on a sequence of API calls that registers and starts test complete, loads the project file, runs the suite and captures the test results. So with this PowerShell script created, we can run the script from a PowerShell window and a sequence of API calls will start test execute, will create an instance of test execute with that project running from the shared drive. And once test execute has started and has loaded that project, and the instance status moves to 
to ready. Then the test will execute and the script will use the API to capture the test results to give us an overall status. And we can see that the execution finishes and we capture the test results in a JSON string where the test results are passed. But we've also configured our test so that the last step in the project execution plan will log everything in an HTML format to that shared drive. So we can also come in from our main machine and we can look at the logs and we can see this latest run that's executed today and we can view those logs from within our development machine. So this gives us a completely hands-off execution capability from a VM that we can run in the background, develop the scripts in test complete, run the PowerShell script, view the log results. And it gives us a complete hands-off capability for executing and testing our tests whilst we develop on our main development machine. So yes, there are other ways to go about this. Jenkins is the obvious choice, especially if you want to scale. But as you start out, a few hours building this capability will save you hours over the long run, not to mention significantly increasing the stability of your automated tests. If you want the full how-to document that walks you through building this capability, email us at hello at testmanagement.com.